Oh. There's a cop right there. Oh, there's a cop, cop that just pulled in his lot. Hmm. Ooh, there's chunks in it. Is that the aloe that's in there? That's the chunks. It's weird when you don't, when you didn't know that was going to go in your mouth. I did air my um, fart bag, aka sleeping bag. Um, man, I know Mexicans out there have some stanky sleeping bags. Uh, man, my fart bag had to let it air out for 30 minutes. What is happening, wigwams? Um, I am going to do a little recon of a spot down the road that I saw the other day when uh, I just passed this one up and turned around. Uh, it says office space for lease. Um, that's boarded up, but I do see this little area here. Um, I didn't go back here yet. I just wanted to see if there's any kind of... Oh, yeah. Hopefully, they don't think I did that. Um, but this is another location that, uh, I possibly, uh, can do at a later date. Uh, so we'll keep that in mind. So let's go down the street, um, get this drone out and we're going to get to, uh, get to doing a little recon to see if that's even uh, possible to do. Cause I didn't actually go back to the location and, um, uh, see, so let me shut up and get over there. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Okay. I pulled around to the other side first, but there's a business over there. Uh, but I pulled to this side and it has the same kind of um, fencing that I was looking at that was gravitated towards. Uh, I'm gonna put my uh, my hoodie on because it's a little bit nipply out here. And then I'll throw the drone there because I don't want to get too close to the building and uh, have people think I'm snooping around too close. I'll just tell them I'm pretending I'm trying to figure out this drone for this channel. Yeah. They would not expect anything unless they watch the other channel. Go post stop. Well, this channel. You know what I'm talking about. Go post stop recording. Okay, let's get it. Take off. Home point updated. Okay, these are the two on this side. There's one over here, and there's one over here. This one here is the one I'm more gravitating towards, even though this one is in the back of the building, which actually, you know what? I think I'm going to be maybe choosing that one. Okay, by me doing this, uh, I'm not close to the building, so people's not thinking I'm being too creepy. But 
there are rocks down here. I'm gonna have to go grab some uh, uh, cardboard to put down so it'd be a little bit more pleasant for me to uh, to live here. It looks like somebody's already been stealthing here maybe. Uh, we got some trash, debris. We got a whole trash can out here. Uh, so I have a place to put my trash, so that is good. Let's go to the other side of the building and uh, see what's over there real quick. It's kind of windy today, but I'm not going to be traveling too, too far, so going to this side of the building there is a business right over there they're not they're not uh, open uh, after 8 but so they close at 8 p.m. which is going to be too late to be on this side of the building which originally uh, I, I wanted to uh, there's uh, there's a dog over here barking at me so that's not going to be a good thing if uh, if I'm going to be camping on this side. Looks like they probably let their dog out. There's me over there. Uh, they probably let their dog out uh, when they saw me over here. It's, uh... Let's get away from the building a little bit, but that is the location that I was thinking about right here since this is a nice bigger dwelling uh but i'm not sure let, let me get this chicha's dog in a minute uh, so that side is still not out the question because this dog over here barking i might be ended up going to this side but we'll we'll see tonight i don't see um one camera on this parking lot so that's a good thing as well uh Unless they have a hidden one somewhere, but I do not see any obvious obvious ones. So, so again, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Let's not scare the dog too much. Um, there it is right there behind that tree. It's going back over to this house there. Uh, so that house is the only house that's going to be a problem because of the dog okay well we'll get back tonight and we'll see what uh we'll see what i'm gonna do bring it on home landing okay there you have it um i'll be back tonight uh, well, this evening with the bike, I'm going to try to leave a little bit earlier so um, you guys can get some good footage of some cooking in the daytime and not have a big spotlight on me behind there and um, they think a UFO landed or something. Uh, but I did Google this place. This place is only open uh, Sundays. Tickets available, I think they said, from 12 to one hour before the show. I think the sh just on Sundays. I hopefully believe that and if they're cleaning up hopefully they're cleaning up monday and they're not here in the evening time so that is my uh game plan so hopefully nothing changes but i have high hopes high hopes folks see you later go post stop recording go post stop recording hey before i go i'm gonna drop some uh boxes off since there are uh, rocks on the ground. When I went to Las Vegas, I did see a lot of people that were airplaneless when they uh, slept in the bushes and stuff. There was rocks everywhere. So they had boxes down to, to pad them. So I do have plenty of boxes. I'll leave them here. You know, somebody takes them, they take them, but that's the perfect spot for those. Okay, right. let's go. We'll stop recording.
Okay, the uh, plans have changed. Um, I went to the other side and uh, they can definitely see me in that fence area um, if they're coming from the back side of the storage area. Uh, this one here on the other side where that business is, this is gonna be the best um, possible solution over here uh, because my bike, uh, the fence is only like half like to there. So if I had my bike in here and they come around the corner, they would definitely see that bike. But over here, I can at least hide behind this side uh, when I'm lower. And uh, we still have a nice extension uh, over there. So uh, I'll have to get the boxes in a little bit and put the boxes over here. But I think this is going to be the lesser of the evils. So I'll be back once I get situated. Go post stop recording. Okay, we have a uh, truck parked over there, and there's a house on that side. There's a business on that side, and I think there's a business or business and a house on this side, right over there. Uh, I'm gonna take everything out this bag and show you everything that I had brought with me, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, in the bag. I did have my coat in the bag. I took that one coat off. I had a hoodie on. Um, bag full of goods. Uh, this is the food I'm going to be cooking in a little bit. I'm going to show you all that. And I got some drinks to go with the food. Two big old drinks. I got my Elmer Fudd hat. I have a pair of socks. I have some gloves. It's supposed to be like 30 something degrees tonight. Got my sleeping clothes. I uh, got thermals, uh, the pants and the shirt, another pair of socks, and a light. That's not all. Wait, there's more. Two battery banks to charge stuff up. I have some wires to charge everything up. And I think that is all in this bag other than a couple extra cords for the chargers. Right, let's get to, let's move to the bag on the bike. Okay, on the back of this bike, I have my sleeping bag right here. And all the stuff you see in this video are going to be in the descriptions. Uh, my Amazon affiliate link. If you want to um, get this stuff from Amazon, you click that. But here is a, uh, a table. I've got my folding table. You're going to be surprised what all I could fit in here. That's what I said. Got some duct tape. That is for the cardboard boxes I need to get from the other side. I have a heating pad for my sleeping bag. I have a tank of gas just in case I need it. And I'm going to need it to cook. Got my coffee with my stuff inside. My coffee and my lighter and um, my kitchen stove. I have a tarp just in case I need a little tarp. Go to the other side. I have my whole spice. I got my spice uh, days of the week pill pill case with the spices in it. I have my pots and pans. I have my new knife. And again, all this is in descriptions. My new knife. Yes, look at this one. Look at this. and spoons, cutting boards, and various just regular trash bags, zip ties, uh, and such in there, left over from the bike trip. Okay, in the front, okay, in the front fork bag on the right side, I have my camping chair, and I think that's really all that I brought, I have some like bike repair kit stuff. On the other side, on the on the left fork bag, I have half a gallon of water, a sleeping pad, and some other junk in there I really don't need. Oh 
mother okay I also have a bag right here that has uh, other just tools in it and, and such and lights and, and everything for the uh, the bike just different kind of tools uh, extra lighter just in case I need to smoke some meth uh, extra extra stuff this for the phone a little bell you know get out the way siren here hope you don't hear that uh, hope I don't hear that while I'm out here and another bag not used but uh, water bike pump freaking tire bike you need to see everything I gotta go I got things to do Okay, folks, here's uh, dinner. Uh, we got some of these uh, Filo walking tamales. They do have a habanero flavor, but I'm not a fan of hot or the habanero uh, flavor. So I got the uh, two different types here. I got the medium and the mild. Uh, mild, folks, if you didn't know, mild is actually uh, not as hot as medium. Uh, some people have... Uh, a weird thing about that they don't know what's what and yes I'm one of those people so medium I'll forget this but that's what that is um, we have some corn to go with some Mexican street corn rice I'm pretty sure it don't have corn that looks like that in there so I'm gonna add corn uh, we have some polo chicken um, that I am going to be putting in the tortillas um, with the chicken I might put a little bit of Fajita uh, sauce if it needs some seasoning or some some of these taco seasonings I'll see which ones I like the best then we got some of this um, I think uh, Michael Jackson makes this is chamoy uh, we have some lettuce just for to make it seem like uh, this is healthy I'm gonna shred it up and just give it a little texture uh, we do have some guacamole I would do sour cream but I'm kind of lactose intolerant so being out here um, with uh, no poo bucket uh, I'm going to opt out of that um, got some uh, Louisiana hot sauce uh, maybe I might use that but we got some uh, Doritos passion fruit and we got some of this um, aloe I guess if you eat too many jalapenos and you burnt your mouth I guess that's why Mexicans have the aloe drink um, but it has vitamin C and calcium in there um, and it's not Mexican if you don't have a lime or two so we're gonna have both of those um, I went with the purple onion um, because it's not red that is purple and we have a bell pepper can't cook Mexican without a bell pepper uh, I think that does it and then we have the knife and I brought a wooden cooking spoon with me so let's uh, get this party started okay we're gonna do some prep here folks uh, this is not really much of cooking at all it's actually kind of just heating everything up uh, I might uh, saute the purple onions and the bell peppers um, this right here not sure if you saw this knife yet but uh yeah you can flip it around your finger it has a church key or whatever this is called I'm not sure why they call it a church key because I never saw a church door um, be open with one of these
Well, that was not a good sign. Hopefully they didn't see me pointing my phone up in the air um, at them. That's got to suck um, if I get busted over here. I thought this was a pretty good spot. I mean, I, I wouldn't think they saw me from right here. Well, I'm just going to get to cooking. This fat guy's hungry. using this water um, to heat up the packs of uh, food that I have. I'm probably just going to get this hot enough and then let it sit and put a lid on it to keep it warm while I cook the other food. Sound like a good plan to me. Or, I don't know, I'll figure something out. I'll, um, I think I might just mix all that food into the pot that I'm cooking everything in. After I saute half, let me cut this. I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is saute the onions and the bell peppers and then put everything into that pot and heat it all up like that. I think that'll be best. Let's do that before I get busted. For some reason it didn't record, but I put some extra virgin olive oil. It's, um, it has extra not been touched. So extra virgin, uh, put some onions in there, uh, some bell peppers, some cumin, some salt, and spicy Montreal. And I left a little bit of onions for some crunch at the very end, so I don't want to put all of it in there right now. Like a little texture. cooking down I'm gonna open this uh, this corn up Put a little bit of that juice in there and get a little bit for me
Okay, it's all done. I picked the uh, Medios Taco Seasoning. Um, it outdone the Taco Seasoning Mild from Sieta. Um, the Sieta, um, I could tell it has a lot of coming in it, so it was still good, but uh, Marietto's tasted a little bit better. Okay. These right here, I'm just gonna, you probably heat these up, but I'm probably just gonna eat these like this and see how they are. I don't think you have to heat these up, but let me put some, um, let me do this because people get a, people have a heart attack if I don't toast my tortillas. Got my, guac got my guacamole here. And since I use this pan already a little bit, I'm using this as a dish. So, got my toasted tortilla. Um, what else do I need? I need this concoction here with a little bit of lettuce. A little bit of lettuce around here. I want some fresh, fresh purple onions. I'll put that on top. Get our mixture here. And slap some guac on there. Make it look pretty. This wasn't too, too difficult to do. Um, I put that chamoy sauce on there, so I didn't go with the fajita, fajita sauce. Um, get my guacamole, and I got, and if you wonder why I rolled the lime, I rolled it so to get the juice on the, out, out of it, so a little bit of, a little bit more on there from that one. Okay. So uh, let's dig in. I find I did bring my spork this time. A little guacamole on there. And before I eat it, I have to take a picture, folks. Put a little dollop on the side. And what else do I need to do? Ooh, a lime. Ooh. I had these two for taco holders that you can actually put a tortilla in. It works better with a taco. We can put it like that and have it up. See, it's a cactus. So, but didn't need that, this rip. Uh, let me get a quick pick with this phone so I don't have to move that camera there. 
There's a lot that goes on, folks. There's a lot that goes on when you're trying to be stealthy. Let's uh, get a picture here. Only thing I'm missing is cheese. Where's the cheese? But like I said, lactose intolerant and being out here like this, I'm kind of opt out of some of the stuff. So uh, I got the pictures. Hopefully I remember to get this off this phone um, later. I do have these to review. The Doritos and the aloe. Okay, here we go. Let's try this first. Uh, the trick of this is to fold the end. Or you can eat it from the back. Mm. Just the right amount of seasoning, folks. Uh, I did put a little extra coming in there when I did start cooking it with the salt and the pepper. Um, I probably didn't have to add salt. I really don't taste it being too salty, but. I really wish it would have had a little bit of cheese on it, but like I said, I'm trying to opt out of that right now, being out here this long without a restroom and no poo bucket. Uh, the lime is really making this on point. Mm. That and the two different textures of the purple onions. Mm. Very delicious. I think I had the Doritos before, but I will, uh, I will taste something now. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good, that was only a dollar, dollar 38 or something for that. And let's go for the, the aloe. Mm. Oh, there's chunks in it. Is that the aloe that's in there? That's the chunks. It's weird when you don't, when you didn't know that was going to go in your mouth. I don't know if you see the chunks in there. You probably can't. Surprisingly really good. I like this better than the Doritos. Wow. Pick some of that up, folks. Okay, here comes the review part. The sun is going down. We have about 30 minutes. Um, and I'm about to put my coat on, but I'm gonna try this Philo's Walking Tamales. Now we got the medium and the mild. I'm gonna go for the mild first. Show you what it looks like. Like a, look like a big old Mexican ravioli. Okay, I'm not a Verde fan anyway. It's okay, it needs a little bit of sauce on it. Some of this uh, Michael Jackson. Chamoy. Michael Jackson chamoy sauce would probably be good on it. <clears throat> the chamoy is pretty good. Sweet and tangy. Mm, oh, sweet and tangy in my mouth. This looks a little warmer. 
Look at the color of this, yes. Okay. A bean salsa ro roja corn bar. This is a roja corn, corn bar and that's a salsa verde. A little bland. They're both kind of bland, just these little sauce. So if you pick up some some of this Michael Jackson sauce. Makes it taste a lot better. A little, little guac. guacamole on that with a little bit of this chamoy sauce really did good okay folks well i'm gonna clean up a little bit after i eat one more of these and then i'm gonna put my jacket on and call it uh, a successful chef um video so far and then I will uh, check on my chicken, Paula, and see if her temperature in her cage is doing good. She's gonna be mad at me because I'm out here gallivanting around town. But she's just gonna have to deal with it right now. Okay, get one more of these and eat this in private with my clothes off. No, I'm not. But. I'm gonna enjoy this. Peace and quiet with the traffic going by. And I'll see you in a bit. Uh, people just showed up um, they don't think they saw me I'm gonna get my bike and get it out of here and hide everything else I keep it right here but I can't they went to that door right there it's a car so let me get this stuff put away so I can not get caught and I'll be right back in the same place well uh, <laughs> I got the cooking done. Uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm at. I'm at the the building across the street, the uh, uh, business, but that's where I was. Over there on the left side of that fence, like right there. But those two cars pulled up and they went to that door, a guy and a girl, I'm not sure what they're doing in there. Um, they're role playing or something, it is a theater, but uh, they did not look over to the left where I was, right there. Uh, I have everything that I have except my bike. I brought my bike out of there, but everything else you can't see. There's a police officer right there. Um, oh, somebody else is going up in there. Uh, they must be doing some rehearsals or something. I'm not sure. But, uh, but I got out there at the nick of time. Um, I think at night. You pop, if the lights aren't on outside right there, I should be really good um, when they leave. But I might be out here for two or three hours. Uh, they might be in doing some, some. Um, I didn't even think about that. They're probably doing some rehearsals and stuff in there because they are theatrical. Um, no. Have my bike right here. I hurried up and hauled ass and got out of there. Very, very closest I've ever got without gotten without being caught 
but I'm just going to be sitting stupid um, over here because I don't want to go too far because I don't want somebody to find my stuff out there. I have a GoPro, all my cooking gear. I try to put some food up um, uh, so bugs wouldn't get into it, but it is kind of time of the year where there's no bugs out, so that is one good thing. Uh, didn't even get to finish eating. Um, I was talking to Limey. Um, I'll put his link in the descriptions if you like RC cars, uh, but Lonnie's RC cars um, and outdoors, uh, but he's a good friend. I went camping with him. I'll put the link in the description as well, uh, but I will put in right there, right there. I'll put his link uh, right there for uh, his channel as well in the descriptions. But I was talking to him when I, I had to say, I got to go, Lonnie, I got to go. There's people right here. They was right at the door when I was talking to him, so. Okay, well, I'm just very excited that I didn't get busted. I will talk to you uh, later on when the coast clears, but it's going to be probably, like I said, two or three hours at least uh, for them doing rehearsals, and I'll get over there, and at night I will try to finish it up with me getting the cardboard boxes from the other side over here that I have to do anyway, and then getting my uh, stuff laid out before I watch a movie for you guys. Okay. Well, lucky I got out of there when I did. Jesus. It's going to be here a while. There's about 12 cars at least there now. So I'm going to go ahead and watch my movie now. Uh, this movie is called Six Souls. Six. Six of them. Six Souls. And um, I'll let you know in the... Uh, later on how the movie is before I go to bed this time uh, I did turn my hoodie inside out just in case somebody does go back there then I'll go straight over there and say hey I just need a place to stay for the night I was just passing through I'll get my stuff and get out of here unless you let me stay here I'll say it just like that uh, but I took my earrings out so yeah I'm not looking all fancy uh, I had those out before I, I went Anyway, because I was doing some stealth camping and sleeping with hoodies on and stuff with earrings does not go. Um, but uh, but yes, that is hidden so they don't know that uh, anything about the outdoors is unsupervised. And uh, I'm just going to sit here on this nice flat rock on the ground and uh, enjoy enjoy this movie. So I will talk to you once this is all over. gonna um, sneak over here and grab my other jacket um, from behind that fence uh, it's getting a little bit of nippy out here it's probably about 40 45 degrees and I did turn my jacket inside out so there's no pockets on this side to put my hands in I'll just uh, mosey on over here hopefully nobody's coming out to grab a cigarette oh Police right there. I 
and I don't know if he's making a, make a U-turn or not, but I'm going to hurry up and grab this. that I got my GoPro and my mic so uh, head back over here and get cozy with this extra jacket and probably get talked to about police officer but I'm just minding my business just a fat guy watching a movie on a rock over over yonder How you doing? Calm down there. <laughs> dog's, a, dog's a little happy. Okay. Back over here and uh should have grabbed my backpack too, but screw it. I'm good. Hey, uh, update. People are leaving. Can't see it good now. It's a little blurry. But um, I'm in a little park behind the place. I've been moving around a little bit so they don't um, just see somebody sitting in the same spot all the time. And they definitely cannot see me over here, but I can definitely see where that fence is, where my stuff is, if anybody is going to be going up in there. Yeah, I can't, I can't zoom in good with the nighttime, but everybody is leaving, so it's a good sign. It's only been like an hour and 15 minutes, um, about almost pretty much three quarters of the way done with with the movie it's going it's going okay it's an okay movie um don't want to ruin it right now it might be a stupid ending and i might have to tank it but uh so far so good so um hopefully all these people are up out of here in a bit and i can mosey on back over there and snack on some of that food again watch the rest of this movie and talk to you guys before I um, hit the bed so see you in a bit okay I think I am about to go over there this truck is the last one to leave I believe so as soon as he leaves I will uh, head on over there and get to going Okay, let's go, let's go. Dang, one more car left. God dang it, one more car. Okay, let's take a walk around the block. Hey, I'm back in the spot. There's still that car out there. I'm not sure if they left together and just left the car there. Uh, that's none of my business, but you know I'm not the brightest light pole in the neighborhood. There's the car. And there's the door they're coming out of. I'm sitting right here. If I kneel down like this, maybe they can't see me when they're locking the door. I don't know. But uh, I'm trying to get stuff gathered up here a little bit and uh, maybe snack on a little bit of something and uh, make ups for some time and get this out the way, get those boxes and uh, put my sleeping pad out and talk to you again. But uh, I'm, I'm just happy to be from out there 
cops kept coming by and slowing down and turning uh, but not going back to where I was a lot of police police officers when they turn like that they want to see if you're gonna make a break for it or just get up hurry up and leave but I just sat in the same spot answer my comments on the phone and they just turned slowed down and then kept going uh, but they didn't come uh, mess with me or anything so that's a good thing okay be back in a bit hey uh somebody just pulled up hope and they're walking i don't know where they're walking to but hope they're walking to the other car Get the hell out of here. All right, coast is clear. Now I can get all this stuff set up. Uh, go get the stuff from around the building here in a bit um, and call it a night. I'm almost done with this movie. I'm gonna watch that, get back to you, and then call it a wrap. Whew. Close call tonight. Okay, got done with the movie. Um, I'm gonna give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Uh, why an 8.8? .8? Cause I like to be difficult, but it's an okay movie. I, I would consider watching it if you uh, like uh, scary movies. Uh, I am uh, gonna let you know. I already walked around there to get the boxes, and what I did. Oh, I'm gonna turn the light on. I taped. I taped them all together. And I got an extra box here. And I got my mat right here. And I'm about to put my sleeping bag down. I'm gonna change clothes. Um, like I said, I don't care where I'm at. It just feels uncomfortable sleeping in the clothes I wear in the daytime. So I have my sleeping clothes. I'm gonna put my thermal uh, pants and thermal shirt on with two pair of socks. Uh, and put the heating pad in the sleeping bag. I probably won't turn the heating pad on until probably later on when I wake up if it gets too cold. Um, and speaking of too cold, I've been monitoring uh, Paula's uh, heat lamps. She has two heat lamps in there, and just depending on the weather, I, I cut them both on, I cut one on, or I cut both of them off. And I have a timer to check it all the time. But right now, it's mellowed out. I have a tarp over it. Uh, so it's staying at like 77 degrees, which is uh, anywhere. A chicken can go down to like zero degrees. But if, like I said, if if a chicken is used to a certain temperature, um, they'll be really cold if it's like 40 degrees. So I keep it anywhere from 65 to 85 degrees. Uh, so 77 is very comfortable. And uh, I'll be monitoring that. I'll wake up probably a few times during the night uh, and check on that temperature. But 
let me get my skivvies, my skivvies on, uh, as I guess old people call them skivvies. Is that what that is? Under Long John's? I don't know who John is, but he's long, I guess. Uh, but let me put the under, under garments on, and uh, I'll say goodnight one last time. Folks, I woke up to some idiot popping fireworks at 5.09 a.m. or 4.09 a.m. in the morning. It was kind of like some Roman candle type things. It went pop, pop, and then, whoosh, whoosh, you know, some other crap um, in the air. I didn't see the last of them, but there was like 15 or 20 pops in a row. Uh, I'm going to try to go back to bed for another hour, hour, hour and a half. Um, but that was completely stupid as hell. Okay. Well, I'll be back in a bit. I saw, uh, I saw a cop go by that direction. And, uh, I think they're scouting around for who the idiot was, and I think I saw him already back um, in that vicinity. Saw some lights. Back there in that neighborhood there. Oh. There's a cop right there. There's a cop, cop that just pulled in his lot. That cop right there, he's on. Uh, what are you doing? Just sitting there right now. Going back that way now. I don't even know if I can get some good sleep right now. Uh, I'm gonna try, but I don't think they'll be looking back here. All right. Ooh, there's another one. Another cop. Okay, I gotta get down. Oh, they're really, they're really out over here. I'm gonna have to put my phone down. I'm peeking over the fence because they're gonna think it's me. There's one just sitting there. Okay, well, all right, I'm done. You got enough police action. <sighs> Hello, folks. 
Um, I get up a little bit. I don't think you see too great, but um, cops came by a couple more times and actually shined their light on this fence. But um, I was had my hood on and uh, face down with this. Uh, sleeping mask and I just saw the light shine over here but they did not uh, get out the car and check so that was a good thing but whoever that idiot was uh, 409 is a complete waste of life freaking idiots uh, but I'm gonna get my backpack uh, put away and try to clean up a little bit as I can I'll go live for the Facebook group um, and then, um, if you want to get to into that group, please look at the descriptions. It's only two dollars and ninety-nine cents a month. Uh, Facebook gets a dollar of it, but if you want to get into that group, uh, it's just a month-to-month -month thing, and they get to see the night uh, me go live the night of, and in a little while, when the when it gets a little bit more daylight, I'll go live and I'll just actually show them where I was um, the night before. So. Um, I'm going to do that, uh, so I will uh, get back with you um, when the uh, the light appears a little bit for you guys, and then wrap this video up, but I did sleep pretty good, um, the temperature is around, I don't know, I want to say around 40, 40 degrees, uh, maybe 37, um, and I slept pretty good, I did not um, use the heating pad. Didn't even have to use the heating pad. And I'll have one jacket. What? Excuse me. One jacket on and I took the Elmer Fudd um, hat off. But um, I just want to get out the way before I forget to tell you that information. But let me um, get my stuff gathered up and, and my, my thoughts gathered up and then I'll get back with you. A light just came in on this house. So I just woke up, so I have to be uh, be kind of quiet over here. Okay, folks, I'm calling it. It's about 6 o'clock. It's about to get daylight here in about 15 minutes, uh, but I need to go poo, okay? Yes, TMI, but got to go. I did air my um, fart bag, a.k.a. sleeping bag. Um, man... I know Mexicans out there have some stanky sleeping bags. Uh, man, my fart bag had to let it air out for 30 minutes. Uh, but I am um, geared up, about to hit the hit the road, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Get my camera. You're not going to believe this. On the way back, look what I spotted. The freaking 16 Grand Canyon fire balls that was in the air this morning at 409. <laughs> 